Welcome everyone. Um, how are you guys doing? Thank you all for taking your time attending this webinar. I'm Harley from Lee Extension. While waiting for others to come in, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Can you guys hear me well? Please leave a like so that I can check the connection. Hi, Jesse. Hello, Katie. Welcome, y'all. Let's wait for just a few minutes for others to join. Oh, I see Jesse has left a question. Um, I saw your post about the 10% of coupon on MishNet extensions. Is that applied to all? Okay, I guess that everyone else has the same concern. So um, I will answer a question, Jesse. You just need to do two simple steps. First one is share this live stream in public mode and join our e-commerce platform review group to get the 10% discount code. Any other questions? Welcome, y'all. Hi. I'm Harley from Lee Extension. What we do is that we help you migrate all of the data of your online store, including products, customers, orders, and many other important entities to, from one e-commerce platform to a more robust one. Hello, Ling. Welcome. We'll just wait for uh, a few minutes, so uh, be patient. We will start very soon. We'll have a few minutes for warm up before starting the webinar. So please leave your questions below. Ryan Scott asked, when will the guest speakers come in? Oh, they will come in in just a few minutes. So um, get a cup of tea and find a comfortable place to sit down because the webinar is going to last for about an hour. Remember that we have a 10% discount code for all MeshNet extensions. You just need to do two simple steps to get the discount code. First one is um, share this live stream in public mode and you just need to join our e-commerce platform review group. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Billy. Welcome, y'all. 
Today we're going to be talking about how to display Facebook Live videos on Magento Store. I'm Harley from Lee Extension, a shopping cart migration expert. We help you migrate all of your data from one e-commerce platform to another. You can get a special gift from us, which is a 10% discount code for all MageNest extensions. You just need to, one, share this live stream in public mode and join our e-commerce platform review group. It's very simple to get a 10% discount code for MageNest. Okay, so we are already have acquired a group of audience right now, so let's get started. Hello and welcome to our today webinar, how to display Facebook Live videos on Magento Store. My name is Harley from Lead Extension, the shopping cart migration expert that helps you migrate all of your data, including products, customers, orders, from one e-commerce platform to a more robust one. And I will be your host for today. It is such an honor to have two representatives from MageNest to join us. For your information, MageNest is a top tier Magento business solution partner, providing optimal solutions that power thousands of e-commerce businesses all over the world. Now let's welcome our guest speakers, Mr. Vincent, Head of Product Development and Mr. Harvey, Marketing Manager at MageNest. Hi, Mr. Vincent. Thank you for joining us today. Mr. Vincent is an excellent Product Development Manager with a demonstrated history of working in the information technology service industry. Being certified as the Magento 2 Professional Developer, he has perfect skills in both PHP and e-commerce. Mr. Vincent, can you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Vincent, I'm Head of Extension Development at MageNet, and I'm specialized in Magento 2 product. And it's an honor to be here today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vincent. We all look forward to hearing your valuable sharing today. And our second speaker is Mr. Harvey. Mr. Harvey is the marketing manager at MageNest. He has a strong background in Magento, digital marketing and Adobe experience design. Having years of experience working with Magento, he is definitely a trustworthy advisor for anyone who is interested or is already running a Magento store. Hello, Harvey, can you say hi and make self introduction to the audience? Hi everyone, my name is Harvey and I'm the marketing manager at MageNest. I oversee the uh, marketing and partnership operation. And it's great to be here today. Thank you. Today's webinar will be including two main parts. The first section will fo focus on the basic concept of live streaming in e-commerce platforms. And in the second part, we'll be sharing all about how to display Facebook Live videos on a Magento store. We also will have a 15 minutes Q&A at the end of our webinar. So if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment and we will bring it up and answer one by one. So uh, please stay with us until then, guys. And now I will hand over the stage for Mr. Harvey to talk about his first part. Thank you, Harley. Um, I'm going to share my screen so you can see the presentation. All right. So before we begin, I want to give you guys a little bit introduction about MageNest and what we do. So MageNest is an one-stop solution company. We provide uh, e-commerce solution, ERP, CRM, and cloud infrastructure as well. So our current technology partners are Magento. We are currently an Adobe Bronze Solution partner. Uh, we are also an Udo Silver partner and Salesforce consulting partner, and finally, AWS consulting partner. 
You can learn more about our services and product over at magicnet.com. And aside from our services, we do also provide Magento 2 extensions. And um, our most, our most uh, capable products uh, range from anything. We provide payment gateways. We provide uh, uh, ERP, CRM integration, uh, accounting integration, and also some uh, accessibility extension. You can learn more about our offerings at startupmagenets.com. So we've been in the business for six years and we have accumulated uh, 15,000 clients both globally and in the Vietnamese market. Uh, you can see from the slide that we have very uh, notable customers. We uh, have been working with Anakin, Chung Nguyen Legend, uh, ACFC, Hong Fu International, and uh, some of the other brands as well. You can learn more about the uh, case studies and success stories of these brands over at our website, missionnet.com. So let's get back to the topic today, the uh, live commerce phenomenon. So what is live commerce or live streaming e-commerce? So live streaming e-commerce refers to using live videos or streaming activities to promote a product a brand or anything. So essentially it is a way to digitally replicate the shopping experience at a physical store. And uh, most of you may be familiar with uh, these kind of uh, commerce. Uh, back in the day when TVs are still popular, they are, there will be shows where uh, there will be a representative or a sales guy who will try to sell a bunch of products which you can dial at their number to uh, make the purchase and get the products delivered right to their home. So this is essentially a uh, modern adaptation of that uh, because uh, TVs are falling out of uh, usage right now. Uh, people often shop online right now because of its more accessibility and these are where live streaming falls in. So where did it all begin? So live streaming e-commerce uh, starts to boom in China and uh, most strongly amid the COVID-19 situation. So uh, when people are grounded it's, uh, uh, back at their home, they have they would have very little things to do. You know, uh, jobs are uh, getting uh, kind of uh, halted and everything is sort of canceled. So what can people do? They shop, right? And uh, these uh, these charts so show some of the uh, product category that uh, people are mostly uh, buying now. So for the uh, week online presence group, we have uh, book, catering, farmer, gym, and uh, interior decoration, tourism, car, and real estate. These range from low price to high price, but these uh, category have uh, one thing in common is that they have a week online presence. So uh, <clears throat> after the COVID-19 lockdown, these uh, categories are shifting towards online so they can direct their traffic online. And this, is, this has proven to be a very, uh, very effective method. I will explain that later. And moving to the uh, brands with the strong online presence, we have very essential daily items such as food or cosmetics, apparel, homes, home appliances, digital products, etc. And for some higher end product, we have uh, jewelry. So live streaming e-commerce in China is expected to generate uh, up to 136 billion US dollars. This is double the number of 2019, which is uh, 61 billion US dollars. So these are very promising numbers from uh, our friends at iMedia Research Group. And these are further enhanced by the fact that the coronavirus is still uh, lingering and, uh, and this often is the, uh, the number one reason that pushes the uh, commerce sales. So who are the key players in uh, China right now? So we have here three of the most notable uh, live streaming platforms. We have Taobao Live, we have Douyin, and Kuaishou. And uh, you can see from the chart that Taobao is uh, currently the one with the most 
uh, most percentage of uh, retail transactions up to 79 percent and back to the uh, target users of these three platforms you can see that uh, each have a range of uh, customers that uh, they are targeting from the chart earlier you can find that tier three or quadrant three and quadrant four uh, people uh, with apparel, beauty, and parents and baby products will be the, the target audience of Taobao. For Douyin, it is the uh, uh, consumers with uh, 30 years old or above. And Kuaishou uh, often targets users from lower tier cities and rural areas. So um, the big question is live streaming the future of e-commerce. Um, in a way, I would say yes. So you can see that uh, more Western companies are moving toward this trend as well. You can see that Amazon is going to publish the Amazon Live very soon. And it is essentially a uh, way that Western company are, are extorting the success of uh, China to replicate it into their business. You will see that YouTube currently now has a live feature as well. And Facebook and Instagram definitely uh, in the near future, they will all implement a uh, commerce uh, capability into the live stream as well. Uh, with Facebook, you can and you will be able to buy products during the stream with their commerce functionalities and Instagram as well. So these ch uh, charts show the uh, the uh, timeline of the live streaming trend that you can see from Asia. So we have Taobao leading the charge in uh, 2016. To now in 2019, we have very big players coming to the scene and moving forward. So um, the Google search volume for live streaming related terms has uh, raised exponentially since uh, early this year, right at the, uh, the middle of the COVID booming in uh, Southeast Asia. You can see that the queries for live stream are uh, live stream on uh, some social media platforms has raised significantly. And this shows that not only brands, but consumers uh, and merchants as well are looking to utilize uh, live streaming as a way to promote their products. So what are the benefits of live streaming? So first of all, you can build trust with the audiences. So you have a uh, a representative of your brand so they will know that these brands have people not just a, not just a lifeless website uh, with uh, products that that they don't know if it's real or it's not so this is a good way to to do abuse trust with the uh, and engagement with the uh, audience so secondly increase customer engagement so you know that during a live stream people can chat can comment and uh, buy products so these are some of the ways that if you do uh, live stream regularly, your audience will be very engaged with your content. And this builds uh, a strong relationship between the brand and the audiences and to future opportunities as well. So finally, reduce marketing costs. So back in the day when uh, display marketing or TV marketing were, were popular, they would often be the, the source of the most uh, budget where marketers have to allocate. And for now, with uh, live streaming uh, at free platforms like Facebook or Instagram, etc., uh, this will reduce the uh, marketing budget uh, very, very much. So, to the uh, product that we have today, Facebook live stream for Magento 2. Uh, I will leave the presentation to Vincent to show you uh, what is uh, what the product is and how it works. And also, we will give you a live demo as well. So uh, handing over to Vincent. So the uh, Facebook live stream model is proposed to let uh, you interact with a great interaction between your Facebook store and your Magento website. Uh, it will let you display a uh, Facebook live stream on your Magento. 
and uh, even display the chat from Facebook on Magento and link the uh, link product uh, from the page, uh, from your Facebook page to the live stream page and even uh, display the coupon or the notification for your customer so they can uh, collect the coupon and get a sale in during the live stream duration, for example. So here I am in the configuration page of the uh, Facebook live stream module. So we will begin with getting the page ID and this is the, the uh, raw ID of your Facebook page. And permanent access token is the access token for your uh, Facebook app that is linked to your page. So you can get a short uh, duration token, a long duration token, or a, or a permanent access token. Uh, we include a link here which you can follow to get your permanent token. So with that out of the way, we have connected uh, our uh, demo to a Magento open, uh, to, an, to a Facebook page here. So let's talk about the configuration. Uh, at the top, you can enable or disable the module. And then you can enable a header link. So the header link, it will be displayed at the top left or just side that like you're seeing here, live streaming. You have to set the type in the configuration as live streaming. And it enable report static. It will log uh, how many viewers that you have, then how many comments, and how many people use the coupon, or click on the coupon. And here is the address which you can use to open the streaming pack quickly. Here you can see it empty because we haven't started any session yet. So before so we start the session, let's continue with the configuration below. A claim coupon button. So this button, when the when a viewer click on it, you show a coupon with a sign, and you can also allow a guest customer to claim a coupon. The same for a comment section on the uh, in the, on the live stream interface. You can allow a guest to post comment, or you can even select no here. Only logged in back into customer can post comment. And fake comment per millisecond is about how often does the Magento side pull new comment from Facebook back to Magento. So by default, zero is mean it doesn't pull. So we can set it to let's say 5,000 milliseconds, that's five seconds. And how many comments will you pull every time it? every time we set the 10 here then we set the configuration okay next up let's create a widget so on the live stream page you might want to display different product on your widget and on on the page and we can do that using a widget here we create a new widget we select the type a product live streaming list and this is a team in Magito Luma which is what we're using right now and we continue uh, let's say we put some, let's keep it a title uh, for live stream. And so old star view and with the option. Back on sale, simple. We display 10 product. And how long will it take the uh, widget content? We use the default wiki. 86 thousand and four hundred seconds or 24 hours so every day the, the content of the product in the widget will get updated and you can set uh, the widget to show the name the image and the price of the product and an add to cart button for example so which product will be shown in the widget we can select condition here let's say we select own product where the category is back Now we can save the widget and we clear the okay. cake. So now we can go on with creating a session from the streaming menu, open streaming session and create a new session. Give a name like 
daily streaming. And product we get, we select the one we just created, put it back for live streaming. We start, okay, it 3.20 now, let's start it at 3.23. And we can end it at 33. Let's start with coupon code. So you can choose to deploy your coupon code on the live stream interface. Here we select a discount code that is 10% off any product in the back category. And on the stream pop up, we can uh, display the, we can deploy uh, a subscriber notification or a pop up notification. So the, how we use this is, let's say you have a 20 minute stream and you divide them into five minute session. So for each session, you can show a pop up here, where you can show the session information or on the related marketing information. Let's say about three minutes in, I show a pop up called check our product below. And then a four minutes, we show a notification for the customer to subscribe to the website. Never click to set. And yes, that's it. Our streaming is set to start at 3.33 and it's 3.32 right now. So let's open our front end page. Yes, as you can see, it's already deploying the interface here. There's no streaming yet because I have set of streaming. So as soon as I start streaming, the content will change and we will display the streaming content from Facebook on Magento. Okay, so give me a few So we have started the streaming. Now we can wait a few seconds and the website will be reloaded and the streaming pop-up will show. Yes, as you can see here, it, it reloads automatically as soon as it receives a streaming signal from uh, Facebook. Now below this, it is it in the FIFA. This is the streaming interface we spoon stretch from Facebook. And below here, you can see all the product in the widget we have created. And the customer can browse the list of product we have here. And when the customer gets the get voucher now button, yes, the coupon code will be displayed. And you can see on the right side, we have some comment on Facebook, put back into Magento. And if you are logged in or if you are a guest and you put a, and you put a comment here, to say, hi, let's see for the moment. And uh, after a few seconds, it will also be deployed on the interface we have here. So, Right on this page, you can press the Add to Cart button, and your product will be in cart directly. So if, if the customer press View and Edit Cart, and they take the coupon code we have here, Let's see, I already applied the coupon code here, but we can see again, and I applied this on code.
Yes, and you see the coupon code is already applied to own bag product. So the customer doesn't have to leave the streaming page to uh, to you to add the cart to a product. And you can also see here we have a notification which we set at the three minute mark. And at four minute mark, there will be another pop up. to let your subscriber to the mailing list of the website. Now it's 26 here, we are waiting for 27, that is four minutes after we start the live stream. Yeah, so subscribe to our newsletter. Let's say I put in my email here. And send it. So we have started the streaming. Now we can wait a few seconds. And, and as soon as I end the live stream from Facebook, the uh, Magento interface will also update the uh, streaming data. You can still get a voucher. You can still grow the product, but the streaming has stopped. So next up, let's see which data have we gathered from the streaming session. Now we go back to the back end. We have streaming here and streaming report. So after a while, yes, you can see here we have a streaming session. We know how many total viewers we have got and how many coupons have been claimed and whether they have been used. So if I use a coupon here, let's proceed with checkout. Yes, so we are just going to place an order. Yes, so you can see here, we have total buy two, because we bought two products from the, from the, we get down here, and we have one use of total cup one year, because we is one on one order. The other is show up in the back end up here. So this is the order I just placed after putting the product into cart from the streaming interface and use the coupon presented by the interface. You can see the content here, our uh, tool bag, and the discount code which we have used. So that concludes our uh, demonstration uh, of the current function of the uh, Facebook live streaming product from Mainnet. Uh, it's currently free to download. There's no string attached. And yes, that's my presentation is over. Thank you for watching. That's awesome. Thank you both for sharing. And I can see that many audience has sent their very interesting questions. So let's start with a question from uh, David. When should I use live streaming? Can you answer uh, for David Anderson? Okay, I got this. Okay, um, so that is a very interesting question. Um, so before you begin live streaming, there are a couple of things that you have to put into mind. Uh, first of all is, do you have the uh, inf infrastructure yet? Uh, you will need a camera and uh, the uh, software. The software side is provided by us. So uh, with a camera, you should be all set. And secondly is the human. So you have the, uh, the team to carry out this. So you will need a cameraman and or cameraman uh, if you're shooting for multiple channels at the same time. And secondly, uh, you will need a, an inventory management team because 
once the customers make their purchase, you will need to sort the orders out and ship out to them. So um, this is a very, uh, <clears throat> so it is essential that you have a team ready uh, at all time to fulfill the orders. And um, that's pretty much everything I can pick up. Yeah, great. Okay, so I can see another question from uh, John William. Is the access token free? Um, anyone of you can answer this question? Uh, yes, I can answer that question. The access token is free and it can be obtained separately for the installation. So when you create a Facebook account and a Facebook page, then you create a developer account on Facebook and create an app, you will get the token. So we provide the link for in the user guide and in the backend configuration. So you can get the back ID and access token for your app to integrate it with Facebook Messenger. So uh, yes, it's free and you can do it yourself. But we does provide you with the user guide to do it. Wonderful. As we are running out of time, I will read just one more question. Um, it's from Grace Jamie. Are there any new features in your next version of your extension? Uh, uh, yes, so we constantly update our product, uh, including the live streaming session here. So first of all, we aim to provide support for the latest Magento 2.4 release. And we also plan to add some feature to help you boot your sale quickly uh, so that we can deploy the product in multiple position and multiple mode instead of just a uh, up with a pack control that we're having right now. We can uh, add pop up to remind the customer of the in of an incoming session and we can also uh, add more report function for the admin side so they can collect more information about what uh, does they achieve during the session? So if you and if you do not find the a function you need, uh, you can send us an uh, email to marketing at magnetmainnet.com, and just we can evaluate your requirement and we can consider it for the next update or the next. That's awesome. Okay, that's the end of our Q and A part. The other questions will be answered in the comment. And I would like to say thank you for Harvey and Vincent for taking your time to attend today's webinar. To our audience, don't forget that we have a 10% discount code from all uh, extension from NationNest. And uh, the details on how to get the code will be pinned in the comment. So check it out. That is today's for uh, our webinar and it's done. Thank you everyone for listening. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, guys. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye.